Here's a quick workout, guys. Suck the belly button to the spine. Take the legs into tabletop position. Place the hands behind your head. And if you want to, lift your shoulders off the floor. Reach to your ankles. And then hug one leg in and extend the other leg. Keeping the belly button sucked in. Looking towards the knees. And keep breathing. Extend the leg diagonally upwards. The lower the leg is to the floor, the more challenging it is going to be, but you've got to watch that lower back. Also, if you want to, you can place your body back down onto the floor and just do the legs, if you feel you're getting a little bit tired. The feet are flat on the floor, in alignment with the knees. Curl from your tailbone, pressing the hips to the ceiling and squeezing the bottom, and then curl all the way back down again. Really articulate the spine. Press the hips high and squeeze the bottom. Keep the knees nice and parallel, so don't let them drop out as you go all the way up. And also keep the feet solid and firm but relaxed on the floor. If you want to, you can add some arms for an extra challenge. Legs in tabletop, place the hands behind the head, try not to pull on the head, rotate the opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. Breathing out on a twist, breathing in on the centre. Again, the lower the leg to the floor, the more challenging, but watch that back. And don't forget to keep breathing. repeat your shoulder bridge again. Squeezing the bottom as you reach the top, curling all the way back down through the spine. Keeping the belly button sucked in. And keep breathing. going to do the leg extensions again but this time a little faster. Remember keep the belly button sucked to the spine and to keep breathing. If you feel your upper body is getting a little tired you can always place it back down on the floor and just do the legs. And now the same thing with a twist. Keep the bottom half and the top half nice and isolated and the center strong. And 
to finish off with a shoulder bridge, pressing the hips to the ceiling, stretching through the front of the legs. And have a final stretch out from your fingertips to your tippy toes.